This is a full review of First Aid Forward, a new platform for studying for the USMLE Step 1. If you want to skip to the review section of the video, just use the timestamps on this bar below. Let me start by explaining what First Aid Forward actually is. So everyone knows this textbook, which is the ultimate textbook for studying for the USMLE Step 1. You might not have heard of these two other textbooks, which are also written by the same author, and they also are used to study for the Step 1 exam. First Aid Forward is an online platform that gives you access to all three of these textbooks and it has a whole load of other features to help you prep for step one USMLE. Let's go through all of the good features on this platform. The first thing is annotations. I think digital annotations always beat physical annotations because if you do it digitally you can undo what you've highlighted and you can change it over time. If you're studying for the steps over time your knowledge and understanding will change so you might not want to highlight something that you highlighted four months ago. On a physical textbook, you can't do that, but you will be able to with First Aid Forward. And you can do literally everything that you would on paper. You can underline things that are important, you can highlight things, you can circle keywords, and you can click anywhere and just add your own notes. And it's actually gonna save you time because typing is much faster than physically writing. The second thing is the smart search feature. If you have a PDF of the First Aid textbook, you could press Control F and search for a different term. But on First Aid Forward, you have a smart search feature, which lets you search a term and not only will it show you exact matches, but it will also show you a list of relevant topics to the word that you searched. It's useful when you're looking for an antibody or something really specific, but you can't exactly remember what it was. You can search for terms around it and it will probably point you in the right direction. It's also good for connecting different topics. So if I'm searching for an antibody, it will show me everything that relates to the antibody underneath as well, which is really handy. All of the textbooks that you use are constantly updated. So every year when a new edition comes out, your textbook on the digital version of First Aid Forward will be updated along with it and your annotations and everything will be transferred to the new version. On a physical textbook, you can't do that, but you will be able to with First Aid Forward. You don't need to worry about missing out on the newer information or not having the latest version of First Aid. It's going to be updated automatically. That's included in your subscription. If you find the content in the First Aid textbook overwhelming, the content section is pretty good. For every single chapter, it will break it down for you into smaller chunks different sections, which makes it really easy to break down your studying. Instead of going through one chapter at a time, lots of dense information, you can just use the chapters and go through section by section. Personally, if I'm studying a new chapter, I like to see an overview of what's about to come. One of the best features about First Aid Forward is the high yield content section. So it has a list of all of the high yield content based on the step one blueprint and it has them all listed out for you. So you can go through them maybe closer to your exam to get those key concepts down and understood really well. This is the main thing that I think separates First Aid Forward from the other platforms that you use online. It has a mini quiz section and unlike NBMEs and UWorld questions, which are really lengthy and kind of complicated, it basically has short directed questions to the exact pieces of knowledge and information that you need to memorize for that section. It's kind of like a stepping stone before you go to UWorld or NBMEs and all the lengthy, complicated questions. When I study a topic or a chapter, the jump from there to go straight to UWorld is kind of big and you often get things wrong. It can knock your confidence a bit. But if you have this stepping stone, you just do the mini quiz, which are really short questions and they're directed. It helps you gain a bit of knowledge and understanding before you go to the big question banks afterwards. The quizzes have the same explanation that you would expect with any question bank. So when you get a question correct or incorrect, it will explain everything down below and it also shows you the learning outcome as well that you should have from the question, which is good. When I started studying for the USMLE, I was quite overwhelmed in the beginning because there was so much content that I'd never seen before and hadn't been taught in med school. But First Aid Forward will give you a nice ease an introduction into that content. You know, the quizzes will help you solidify some of the understanding before you go on to UVOLD and the harder questions. So it's pretty useful if you're an IMG and if you're feeling overwhelmed by the new content and how different it is from what you're used to. I don't believe that any platform is perfect per se, but I think if you have the right combination of different platforms and resources, then you can combine them to get you the best preparation for your exam. If you're struggling with approaching the first aid textbook, First Aid Forward is probably one of the best platforms for learning that textbook specifically. It's really targeted, it has the blueprint incorporated, everything is in one place, you have an area to track your progress with your questions, and it all links up really nicely. So you can fly through the textbook if you're using First Aid Forward. It kind of helps with that overwhelming feeling when you start studying and you realize how much there is to do. But the fact that there's mini quizzes and things like that, they're not too difficult, it keeps you going. Like it helps you stay motivated. It doesn't 
knock your confidence too much and it's a nice stepping stone between first aid the question banks and then your final exam prep if you want to try first aid forward there is a link down in the description just to make life easier for you and if you have any questions just drop them in the comments but i'm pretty sure if you just check out that platform you will find everything that you need to it's really simple and straightforward to use